tablet challenge. Mm-hmm. So you half plug your phone charger into the wall yeah. and then you start stacking coins on top of that area between like right. the wall and the charger and see how many you can get before you get zapped. And it's starting like fires. This this just goes to show people talk to your kids. I have a 10 year old <laughs> and she knows not to do any of this dumb shit. I'm serious. Like. Oh my god. They have another oh. one called shell on and what food can you eat that still has the shell? Ew, that just sounds ugh. So they're biting into unpeeled the cha-cha bananas. The cha slide or- challenge? Okay, hold on. Oh, that one sounds fun. I love that. I know that dance. <laughs> okay, you guys, you're driving with the song on and you've got to go off the road every time they go cha-cha slide. Oh yeah, no, that doesn't sound fun. Off. So you go like this in the it's car. It's dangerous, and you're putting the lives of other people at risk, which is stupid. It's very dangerous, except for when my two kids were in the back co- back seat of the car, screaming and punching each other, and I slam on the brake so their heads fly forward and hit them <laughs> on the seat. Okay, that's the Cindy shut the fuck up challenge oh, <laughs> in my car. Is that a mom's behaving ma- badly, Jen? Well, shall we bring back that one for each show mom's again? Behaving badly. We haven't done an MBB in a long time. So, Sarah, I used to, if you go way back on our podcast, I used to do my MBBs. And because of the fact that, you know what I mean? My kids are grown. I felt like I told all my behaving badly. But there's a new one, you guys, I never told you before. Uh-oh. That I did. When they used to fight, I'd see where I am. Even if there was a red light coming and I'd hit the brake really hard and their little heads would go, Woo! and then they would <laughs> shut up. And I go, you're going to do it again. <laughs> little trick. So, oh, <laughs> but yeah, or else we would pull, actually, Jen, we should probably do that again. We got to pull out an MBB award for each new, each show. We'll go through the news and just find like the worst mother and we'll give her the award. Seeing how... <sighs> These That's stories, good... yeah, they come to me slowly. Um, skull breaker, did it okay? Um, throw it in the air concussion challenge. They must throw them in the air till they bust their head. I found one a 48 hour challenge. Okay, Kids disappear for 48 hours, no contact with friends or family. They get points for how many missing kids. Facebook posts their family and friends put up about them. If police get involved. More points, Amber Alert, like the queen of all you... points. <laughs> so we're Sarah's use... face. Wait, Sarah's just like <laughs> who? Who's cashing in the points? Is there a prize at the end? Uh, that, that's and what I'm saying, and I'm like these poor points. moms. Like, what so do you do with fuck. the? What do you do with the points? Do you go to Chuck E. Cheese? I was like, <laughs> and you'll only get one Tootsie <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> There's not even good, like, you're so stupid. No, no <gasps> prizes. They have a hot but water you're... challenge. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Remember, like, the ice bucket challenge? It's the same idea, but use boiling hot water. How stupid can you be? Like, these children, what are you doing? Okay, I got one. This is terrible. Bright eye challenge? Oh, my gosh. People trying to bleach their eyes. You put bleach in your eyes. That hurts. All right. I, I, I hope nobody that's listening does this. No, yeah, don't. Don't do them. Oh, man. Okay, so this is, the, we've covered uh, the challenges. Um do we have anything else? Have we covered the stupid news for the week? I think we covered pretty a lot of the stupid news. Yeah, I think we sure. and some good news. We've covered. I, we, I think we've do done you it. have a good wedding one? Oh, you do. Okay, let's hear because we haven't had any good wedding one since the COVID. No, these brides are just not. But this is a COVID bride. Okay. Um, first one though, actually, this is first. I have a really short one. Would you put a different body type? in your bridal party if one of your girls didn't match the look for the wedding oh i wouldn't but i'm i'm sure majority would 
What do you mean you, you wouldn't? Think? So, like, if you have a chubby friend, you're not going to let her be a bridesmaid? A bitch, I'm the chubby bride! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're going to do? Get rid of me? Listen, listen. If you're in my wedding and you're chubby, you are going to look good. Oh, if you're I, skinny, I you king. ain't in. This, that's what this girl's saying, though. She doesn't want any chubby bridesmaids. Right, but isn't that, like, isn't that, like, I don't know. She wants her to, like, look the same. I feel like a ton of people do that shit. Don't you, Sarah? Like these pretentious I, skinny bitches. Stupid skinny bitches. <laughs> Don't you think they're the ones that want like the cute little... I definitely do. Yeah. It's Listen, I think I, okay. I think it happens more often than not, for sure. I had a... I, all right. There was a time in my life when I was probably your age, Sarah, that I feel like I was in four weddings a summer. You know that age? All your friends just start getting married, right? So within three years, you're in like 15 weddings because everybody all was in that age group, right? Our late 20s mm-hmm. or whatnot. So one summer I was in so many weddings and my sister-in-law wanted me to wear a skin tight black strapless dress. I said, bitch, do you want me to look like Orca? Are you kidding? <laughs> Telling you right now, I'm like, I'm not being in the wedding. I, I mean, I, I, I'm I, not somebody that's like, oh, I'm, you know, really care about what I look like. Hello, it's obvious. But there comes a point when you don't need a beached whale up in there. Like I am. And then I was like, is she doing that? Because nobody in that wedding party was going to look fabulous. This was a dress that you needed to be Ariel Charnas to wear. <laughs> Can you, and, and I was like, no. And then there was like a mutiny. Everybody told her no. And then she had to change the dress. Well, good for her. Yeah. And I believe I was pregnant also for that wedding so that really i'm like and she wants me to wear that your sister is an awful person huh? sister-in-law she's been long gone oh. he divorced oh, okay. three days ago <laughs> He's and i don't feel bad for calling her an awful person and I, can i tell you the best she was my friend who started dating and got engaged to my brother she was like seven years older than him so it wasn't like somebody he met and she did that because she didn't like me or what you know what i mean we were friends that's crazy isn't that crazy so you just made me think of that orca the whale story and i'm like bitch no no i am not going to be looking like a beach whale (laughs) Mm -mm. all right i've got a covid bride now okay Okay, I know this might be a touchy subject for some, but our caterer just told us that everyone is required to wear a mask while they're in the food tent. My future husband is saying it's our wedding and it's on private property. He's not wearing a mask. We aren't strict mask wearers. Yes, I know the risks. I'm a nurse. So my future husband now wants us to go with someone else just because of that reason. I'm okay with wearing it to get food than taking it right off. What's everyone's opinion? outdoor wedding in September update I did not do this post to hear all you Karens belittle my future husband or your personal beliefs on mask wearing clearly the mask does not prevent COVID I am COVID tested two times a week I've never had COVID I am immunocompromised and if it's my time to go it's my time to go I do not want to see more bashing of my future husband or myself. I just simply asked a damn question of my caterer. Dumbass. Wait, wait, wait. I got thoughts. <laughs> she's an immunocompromised. She's, immuno- she's special. <laughs> she's an immunocompromised she's- nurse who refuses to wear a mask. Oh, she's special. Special kind of stupid. I want to know what you think, Cindy, as like a food server. Like, what about all those poor people dishing out your buffet in there, girly? Like, number one, they deserve people to wear masks. Right. And it, oh, you know what? I'm going to tell you something right now. Now that you have to wear these masks, I feel like anybody that goes up to a buffet now needs to wear a mask just mm-hmm. forever. Because yeah. I'm normally, I get grossed out. And I'm going to knock it. All right. I'm about to bash myself. You guys, I'm a spitter sometimes when I talk. Because I get myself so worked up and so hysterical that I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you. 
Sorry. <laughs> right? I don't want it other people doing that over my food on a buffet. Like, wear the mask on the buffet. Yeah, totally. Right? And I know they have the little plastic shields sometimes. But not at wedding ones. Right. And there always should be some hand sanitizer before everybody's in there ladling and touching their food in general now. Things yeah. have changed. We I want to see a mask on. When you get to your table, you take it off. This bitch wants everyone marching up during COVID with no mask. I don't want them people, they're spitting in my food in general. No, That's my opinion. And I think all the yeah. servers and stuff deserve more. Mm-hmm. I, I, I always say this, like I wear a mask for you and I expect you to do the same. You wear a mask for me. Like, well, you know, that's the common thing courtesy. Like People that don't wear masks to me, I think are those idiots that would save themselves over somebody else. You know what I mean? Like if mm-hmm. it came, yeah, it's, it's selfish behavior to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Like, like, what's her name on the Titanic? Rose. Dan no, Rose. No, no, no. The, the, no Molly the Brown? One. Yes! The unsinkable Molly Brown. <laughs> that woman who was pushing that, that man when Molly said, get your ass back there and <laughs> save he... those people. They were yeah. like, he was like, no! He only cared about himself. Um... Yeah, so that's my opinion on that. And uh, every, I mean, you post something like that, you know people are going to talk shit. I mean, come on. Right? What does she stupid, think? It's stupid. She wasn't going to get people saying that's ridiculous? Yeah, that's Put your crazy. mask on, bitch? Jen, you didn't have a long enough nap. No, it was too early a nap. <laughs> okay. I can't nap early in the day. I need all right, well, all right. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. you. Um, Fabulous weekend. Now that the election is over, I feel like we're just going to really start coming out with some more stupid news. And as soon as I can get my vaccine and get a life again, I will have stories. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing, Sarah. Nothing. <clears throat> I'm I'm running low too. You know. It's tough, guys. So, thank We're you. Down forever. Thank you. And I it will, was fun. And this will be coming up soon, Saturday night. And this is our life. <laughs> thank you. Life in quarantine. This is it. This is all we got. All right, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.